You once wrote an essay, I remember quoting uh, the words of Goethe, uh, praising the, the old German city-states and their liberality and, and the way that led to a world of, of free trade and free migration. Yeah, Goethe's G- G- position in the uh, early 19th century was, so to speak, a minority position. Um, most Germans crave to have a unified states because they looked at France and other centralized uh, countries and wanted to have that. And Goethe's position was um, in order to have a unification, all you need is the same currency, the same measures, the same language, but it would be good uh, to have competition between small uh, entities, and he compared Germany favorably to France, which had been a centralized state, and said, uh, look, if you look at France, everything is concentrated in Paris, and if you go outside of Paris, it is deep and dark province. Uh, and in contrast, you had 37 or 39 principalities in Germany, each competing against each other, each wanting to have the best university, each wanted to have wanting to have the, the best painting galleries, the best theaters, the best uh, orchestras and and so forth. And uh, that was a face that made Germany great. Um, and um, in the way the decline of Germany began with the unification of Germany uh, after the uh, Franco-Prussian War in uh, 1870-71. Um, and the unification was also achieved through uh, means of war. Um, not all that different to what you see in the United States happening almost at at the same time, just a little bit before. So Bismarck played a similar role to Lincoln uh, in the United States by uniting uh, Germany by means by means of war. Uh, Germany's outstanding position in terms of sciences and culture continued, of course, for a while afterwards, because um, the old tradition stayed on f- for a while. Uh, the, all these various uni- universities uh, still continue to exist, but the University of Berlin became indeed then the leading university uh, in Germany, whereas before it was just one of the universities is uh, next to next to many others